imagine the things that we had to go through just to get here man wow what a long process it's been but um if you ask us it's worth it yeah i mean the process of how we got here it was intense multiple trips to the embassy here we go it's the beginning of our next step all right guys so we're here outside uh the thai embassy royal thai embassy consular office we're about to apply for our thai visa tourist visa yeah a lot of steps involved so hopefully we got everything all settled hopefully we, we do but never know yeah hopefully we came prepared so also it's a uh, lockdown here in Malaysia. Cancelled flights, yeah. lots of paperwork, um, lots of wasted paper. Sorry, trees. <laughs> really, the question is traveling to Thailand worth it in 2021? a step or two further from your doorstep.
from our ASQ Hotel here in Bangkok, Thailand. And today is day 5, which means it's a swap day for us. Greg went already. Um, we tried to negotiate if they can, we can go two people at one time. But I'm not sure if other hotel does the same thing, but in our hotel, only one person at a time. Alright, that's my, my turn. Today is day six, is it? Okay, today is day six, night seven. And um, yesterday we did our COVID test and we just had a result. Of course, hint, we're still in our hotel room. We're not in the hospital, which means it's negative. Our results. <laughs> so just... The downside though is I asked if we can go outside for an hour a day. Usually a lot of these ASQs, they allow you to go outside after you test negative for your first test, but they said no, they have to wait for the second test, but here's what it is now it's said. Just gonna enjoy the stop. And getting more and more excited about being in Thailand just from sitting out here. Look at that sunset. Okay, what do we have for dinner? Let's All right, see. this one I was really looking forward to is green curry. I love green curry. All right, let's go. Yeah, so they put it, give it to you on this tray. So they give it to you in like a takeout container, which is cool. I don't mind that at all. You know, we eat a lot of takeout, especially when we were locked out in Malaysia. We're no strangers to takeout containers. We're all good with it. They give us some oranges here. Two oranges each. Keep that vitamin C up during this time. Very important. Uh, green curry, which looks delicious. We have a whole separate container of it so we can dump it all on this rice. I usually like the fish sauce. Add a little funk to it and a little some chilies in there too. Add that to the rice. Beautiful. And um, it comes in this, like this paper is your guide on what we get for dinner or breakfast or lunch or dinner every day. Oh, let's see what's that. Ooh. Oh, it looks good. Ooh, let's put some of that on the rice. Yeah, let's put it all. Some good flavors here. I like to actually have real shreds of galangal in here, which is nice. You have the eggplant. You know, clearly this is not gonna be some amazing Thai street food you get over here in Bangkok, but you know what? For a two week quarantine here, this is pretty good. Gotta, gotta admit. <laughs> and we can't stress enough, when you're here, order the Thai dishes. The Thai dishes, pretty much all of them we've tried have been either solid to good. You know, none of them have been bad, so order Thai dishes, we can't stress that enough. Gotta go with Thai food in Thailand.
today is day 12 of our quarantine. Almost there. Yeah, day 12 or 15. And um, we just did our swab test for the last time during this quarantine. So you get two swabs. Almost there. Day 12, day 15. Can't wait to get out there. You know, even though we see Bangkok from the outside of our balcony, it's still different if you're in the city or out there. And yeah, almost there. Almost there. These are the results of our second COVID-19 swab test during this quarantine. And uh, we already know what the result is because the first thing they do in the morning is it's either call us for food and today they call us for food and the result of the test. It's safe to say that we're negative and in 48 hours we're leaving this quarantine hotel and I can't wait to see back off and be free. So we only have 48 hours left until we leave this hotel and be in quarantine. <laughs> Alright, how do you feel? Taste the freedom and taste free food. <laughs> and taste the beaches that we'll be going to soon and the island life eventually. Even happier to be here. So that's basically it here in our um, ASP hotel. Every single day we're not allowed to go outside. This is something that we finished the point. These two papers are certified and we're officially. We're free. We're free. We're no, free. No, no. We're free. <laughs> we're free. Finally. So this is going to vary. Every country you're going to be applying from, it's going to have different regulations. You got to check the Thai embassy in your country and see the process for it. You have to, often, you have to either apply for a visa and later on certificate of entry you have to have insurance to get in here specific kind of insurance we'll actually leave you a link in the description below what we use it could be very very stressful and it was to get here we weren't relaxed until we got out yeah. of the airport and into our quarantine hotel smoothly i think we weren't relaxed until we stepped out, out of the quarantine hotel <laughs> Well, yeah, so that's we got it. into the quarantine yeah. hotel. Yeah, there's a lot of hoops you have to jump through, but the good thing is there's a lot of resources out there that helped us. Uh, Facebook groups are key. We're going to leave you a little picture right down below of the Facebook group we use to apply for visa because everything's changing. That's the thing. As of right now, we're filming this at the end of March. This always changes, so always keep a look on that. Do your research. Things are changing rapidly right now, as you know, with the pandemic and everything going on. Locals, natives who are coming back to Thailand have to go through the same process as travelers.